Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Voka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Leo. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, Leo. Uh, as well, Leo, I would like to ask if you do find some cards that resonate, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Leo, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it, Leo, when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way. Um, and also, before we get into this reading, Leo, I just want to say that when it comes to receiving my weekly readings, uh, Leo, that I don't feel like they're here to make a choice in your life. I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider. Um, but it's your life to live, not these tarot cards, not me, right? So with all that in mind, um, I thought I saw something just like, um, <laughs> if anyone like noticed me having just like this moment of like, I thought I saw something just like flying across like my vision. I was just like, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, let's just get into your reading now, Leo. I apologize for that. Your objective card for this week is the Spear of Rings. So this is the Ace of Pentacles, essentially. So when you have this, this is all about productivity. This is about endurance, uh, Leo. This is, so when you have this as your objective card, right? This is the energy, this is what it is that you're going to be, uh, uh, the energy that you're going to be exuding for this week, uh, Leo. This is what, um, so when you have this type of dynamic, this, this is essentially a, um, how would you put it? It's kind of just like a keep on going, Leo. And I know you guys had like a similar message from before at one point, Leo, where you're being told to keep on going. But it's kind of like, I feel like you guys are climbing some type of Mount Everest in your life. Some type of situation that's a Mount Everest for you. So it's interesting. Let's look at these clarifiers. All right, so your clarification cards that we got for your Spear of Rings, uh, Leo, is the Ace of Swords coming in here. We have as well the Death card coming in. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles coming in. So, hmm. Yeah, I can't help but feel, Leo, you guys are just climbing some type, I mean, I'm saying Mount Everest more than just seeing like this mountain, right? But I say you're climbing a Mount Everest because it is seemingly like you guys are going through some type of, um, sounds weird, but it's like I'm hearing like coming of age experience, right? And now, granted, regardless of your age, right? I know coming of age, people think about that in terms of like certain milestones, but I feel like there's just something that you guys have been enduring for a while now, Leo, that has you... It's kind of like, a, I feel like it's kind of like one of those all encompassing like experiences. Like, I don't feel like it's necessarily like just like financial. I don't feel like it's necessarily just like one specific connection that you have in your life. I don't feel like it's one specific thing. I feel like it's all encompassing with this Ace of Swords here of where it's just like, you're just kind of like on this like, you're just on like this really long journey but it's one of those things where it's like you know that your story gets better and i know that's a phrase that i like to always say as well um leo but i truly get the sense that um at the i mean obviously at the tip of this mountain right you get to this pentacle right so you definitely are at the you your story definitely does get better but they're de like you don't get to the tip of that mountain without having to release some things without having to let go of some things that was maybe started with you on that journey on up that mountain right maybe certain people that you've had to like kind of release maybe you've kind of you probably have been in the state of feeling like if you feel like you've been kind of uh in this introverted state leo or um kind of feeling like alone for a while now this makes sense right i feel like it's part of like i feel like those are the feelings that you're exuding at this point 
we're just like kind of feeling a little bit of a loner right especially with that queen of pentacles um really not much not many people you feel like you could rely on or talk to at this point in time but i feel like don't so essentially I identify these feelings leo not to like make you feel bad about yourself but um which you shouldn't but more so kind of pointing out being like this is part of the normal process for you um trying to help you normalize like and make you not feel as crazy for what it is that you're going through right because i feel like for a lot of you guys you guys have been going through like this consistent struggle for quite a while now um we are but again i want to just point out that i do feel like it's one of those uh situations where it's like like yeah you yourself are struggling leo in some type of way or just like tired you're extremely tired but like you know you're tired like you know what it is that you're working for essentially leo like there's not really a question here of me coming in and being like having to convince you being like oh it's gonna be so good when it happens da, 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 da. like no i know i get the sense that you know that it's going to happen you know like you wouldn't be on this journey in the first place leo if you weren't like sure of yourself i feel in terms of what it is that you're trying to uh work towards so let's get some clarification on this though leo Right. definitely i get the sense that like the people the things that you've had like just stuff that you started out this journey with like you're definitely not like i don't feel like it's all there anymore like i feel like you've had to especially with that death card i feel like there's just like you've had to move on from a lot you've had to let go of a lot to get to this point and i feel like you kind of even acknowledge that you're not even quite done yet like really much so like a metamorphosis period for y'all but let's get some clarification on the uh six of wands but you know i don't even think i got into too much detail with the six of wands right it is the the literal meaning of the six of wands is that victory card is that public recognition right i mean when even when you think about that card right from the ace of pentacles from before right when you have that success card up on the top of the mountain i definitely see, like there does seem to be like this honing in on like you being the center of attention leo now i know some people could argue just being like that's just capturing your essence right because the leo is uh, a card or is the zodiac sign of um um being like the spotlight on them like be very much so enjoying the spotlight of the crowd focus of the crowd but i do just get the sense that um i can't help but feel like you're going to be acknowledged or something um but we'll just move on from that uh let's look at your clarifiers right you have this page of swords coming in here seven of swords uh you have what is this card nine of wands coming in here interesting how you have nine of wands coming in here um i'll get into that later and then the nine of pentacles as well so I say it's interesting because it's like i feel like the nine of wands is kind of like the card that encaptures like you going on to them like climbing that mountain essentially right this is like that gauntlet card this is you coming up like again like the coming of age leo i really do just get the sense of where this is just a week of where you're building some character now with this seven of swords here and this page of swords uh Watch out with communication this week, um, Leo. Watch out with how you communicate with people. I feel like this is a vice versa kind of thing where it's just like um, people that you hold closest to. This is going to be such a side message, but with like 10 of cups coming in twice for y'all here. Um, watch, about, watch out with how you guys communicate with people that you hold in your inner circle. Um, I do feel like there can be some misunderstandings with that, some where especially with like let me explain with the page of swords this is kind of like that youthful energy right where it's just like you're not you're not really expressing yourself properly and then with the seven of swords this is where you kind of can feel like a little bit overwhelmed or offended right so i do just want to say like be careful just just as like a side message something to look at leo um 
you know have, take note of like this week um like the people that you communicate with you know ask the question being like did you actually mean that in this way leo be that person to you know be like because it feels like almost like s somehow like i can't help but feel like someone this week is going to try to communicate with you and it's going to be one of those things where it's like you're not gonna be sure what they meant by it and you're gonna you clarification like giving them you'll when it happens it'll, you'll it'll make sense uh leo so i won't hone in on that too much now i want to look at quickly this nine of pentacles um as well because with the sun card coming in well spoiler alert sun card i'm pulling some clarifiers right now um all right, yeah. With this Nine of Pentacles, I kind of get this sense as like, this is like a reaction to something. Now, looking at these clarifiers, Leo. Yeah, it does seem to be watch out communication this week. Page of Pentacles is coming out again. Um, it seems to be like someone in your life or people just j in general this week. Um, through the midst of chaos, misunderstandings can happen or will happen. Um, people not being able to handle stress that well is something that I'm getting, especially, I mean, with this Five of Wands here, this is the Conflict card, the Justice card, right? Yeah, this this week, probably do your best, um, Leo, into not really having too deep of discussions with people, because I kind of can see this leading into arguments, not people communicating their feelings or their thoughts very well, and it kind of is just going to set up, set you up in a place where it's, it's just going to distract you, right? So just something to look at. Um, so yeah, let's wrap up that pile now, Leo. Uh, getting into now your judgment card. So this is the card of taking action on something, taking big action in regards to something, right? I feel like you're making some really good ground this week, Leo, into getting to the top of this mountain, whatever this mountain is for you. So let's see uh, what tarot cards we can get for you for this. Let's see what clarifiers we can get. This one is all okay. All right, set up these cards properly, Leo. So your clarification for your judgment card, Leo, is the moon card. We have as well uh, the wheel of fortune. We have the three of wands coming in. And then we have the temperance. So yeah, I see you definitely taking, making big, With this moon card, this is something that you want to kind of like, this is all good stuff, right? I'm more so having like a frustration. I know like I'm very expressionate, Leo, and something I keep in mind of now where it's just like, you don't want to see like your tarot reader making like weird expressions, right? Because um, anxiety and all that, it's just like feeling like it's going to be something bad. But with this judgment card here, I really want to say, Leo, I don't feel like it's going to be this week, right? I feel like it's going to be like in the next... I don't want to give a time frame, but something's definitely going to be coming up here. Now, remember when I said before, where it's just like, I know you had the message before, Leo, where it's like, don't give up, right? With this temperance card coming in here, I feel like things are probably going to feel like, a, I don't want to say like a standstill, but everything's going to feel like it's just kind of like steady going, not really much change happening in your life. And then I feel like... Uh, the moon card comes in and that's when the judgment call when that's when like the moon card comes in as like something being revealed right <laughs> i'm so scatterbrained right now i apologize leo right i feel like something pops up right and i feel like it's a good thing right i'll preface with that right with this three of wands here because the three of wands comes in as a confirmation of where it's like a it's in a good way of where it's like you're starting getting hints at being near the top of that mountain, uh, Leo. And so, but it's through you having to make a judgment call on something um, being revealed, that's what gets the wheels turning, uh, the wheel of fortune turning in your favor, uh, Leo. So definitely what I would say is, you know, keep pacing through right now, right? With this temperance card, keep pacing through. Be, um, some, but something's going to reveal themselves to you. Something I don't want to say someone. Something's something's going to call make force you to uh, put you in a place of having to make a judgment call, right? And I do get the sense that the judgment call is somehow 
associated with this eight of cups right is somehow moving on right putting distance between you and some type of situation right so let's look at some clarifiers with this hmm. i just had a card fly out oh, my Leo. so the card that just like I had <laughs> these two cards like flipped out and hit my deck here, my moon deck, which made this card fall onto the floor. And the card that came out was the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. A very powerful card to get, I feel, um, to have, especially in the way that it came out, um, <laughs> Leo. So I feel like at this time, this is kind of like, a, and it makes sense for you as well. Remember, as I was saying, like your coming of age moment, I feel like you kind of can associate that with your commitment being tested. Truly, Leo, this is one of those things of like, I feel like it's like a final stretch for you, right? There's like one more test that you have to pass, one more gauntlet, one more thing that you have to kind of go through. And once you go through that, then it's kind of easy sailing for you, I feel. So, hmm. Yeah, I enjoy that. Uh, let's look at these clarifiers, though, of your Eight of Cups. We have coming in, let me get these cards right. We have coming in the Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Discs. And then we have the Six of Wands, again, following you, so success. Um, I say success just because that's what the Six of Wands is. It's it's my one of my favorite cards because it's just victory, spotlight, like just happiness overall. Eight of Cups coming in, when when it's the clarifier with the Eight of Cups, though, um, I can't help but feel like the judgment call that we talk about from your last pile, uh, Leo, comes in as making the judgment call, and that's where we go into that full, uh, like, connect, connecting it to that death card from before. You know how I was saying, like, what you started out on this journey with, Leo, I don't feel like and like who you started out with and what you brought with you like it's definitely not alive it's not with you anymore i kind of get this sense that there's one more thing that you kind of have to make a judgment call on <clears throat> and putting yourself putting some distance between you and that situation um for some and i kind of get this sense here with this queen of discs that's following you as well i kind of get the sense that you already have an idea of who or what this might be about like that moon card comes in where it's like it's revealing itself to you but it's one of those things where it's like you were able to see like the shadowy silhouette before the lights were turned on does that make sense uh leo and that's how you break this is how you complete this cycle right it's this final stretch this final thing of where your commitment's being tested um leo so now let's look at the clarifiers for this i really enjoy the storyline and how this is playing out um very much so um f uh, not fluid but um s all things considered very smooth sailing so from means nothing really but more so i myself am identifying like you guys are really like in tune with um the flow of where your guides and just the universe is trying to take you right now like it doesn't seem like you're working against the current again really means nothing it is more so just as a personal observation for myself um something that i notice whenever i read people uh just those small things that don't really matter <laughs> i'm just weird like that so the clarifiers that we have for your world card leo we have the Eight of Pentacles coming in here. Yeah, you know about the situation already that you kind of have to put distance between. With the Moon card, yeah. King of Pentacles and then the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this you know this, Leo. This message more so comes in as an affirmation. This is more so of a farming reading in terms of um, uh, that you're close to the top of your mountain, right? This is greeting comes in as confirmation in terms of um something that you've had you like your you kept a you kept you've been you kept your eye on it you've kept a mental check on something of where you're just like oh i might need to uh do something about this right with this moon card showing you this is not going to be a surprise to you whatever comes to light that you have to make a judgment call on uh leo it's not going to come in as a surprise it's not going to be something that's um 
worth having too much anxiety over this week but you do kind of have to make the judgment call like it is something that you kind of have to be uh make the decision on this week uh leo is one of those things this, with the king of coins and the ten of pentacles i do feel like it's going to be a pretty hard decision to make a pretty hard judgment call to make because i do see this as a uh sense of where it's something that like would challenge your sense of stability which would make sense as to why you have that co uh, commitment being tested card as well leo because it's like it's your commitment right so when you think about it in that way kind of reading in between the lines uh leo they're gonna really try to make you uncomfortable one last time right try to pull away that uh safety blanket one last time for you and just to really test you and show you that you can handle something right so fabulous reading leo thank you for sticking it out with me if you enjoyed this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated and how uh be sure to give this video a like and subscribe leo and then also i do uh weekly general re tarot readings for all the zodiac signs uh leo so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not share them my video maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well until next time though, Leo, I love you so much. Bye.